Hey boys and girls, Miss Sarah here, and today I will be doing a science demonstration from my basement floor. Now, normally when you do mystery science, you watch some information and then you do a little activity. Well, the activity this time is pretty complicated, so I thought I would do it and then you could watch and if you wanna do it yourself, you can, but if not, that's okay too. I know not everybody will have these supplies, so that's why I will show you what I did and the supplies I used, and if you wanna do this yourself, go ahead. Just make sure to pause the video after I show you the supplies. All right, I have a stick. Right here, I have a pipe, but if you have a meter stick at home or something long and skinny that's not too heavy, you could use that. You will need a string. You will also need tape. You will need three cups, very light cups. They can't be heavy cups. Definitely not glass cups. Those red cups that are plastic and, and squishy, those are those will work too. You will also need two houses. I took two scrap pieces of paper, folded them in half, and drew houses on them. You are going to need two more things. You will need some sort of thing to tape this onto. So you could use a small garbage can. You could use maybe if you have a stool like this. That's what I'm gonna use. And then the last thing you will need is a wrecking ball. Now, we're not using a real wrecking ball. You will need kind of a light wrecking ball. So what I did is I took a bunch of pieces of paper and folded them down into a rectangle, taped it shut, and then drew a ball on it. Or dryer ball, you could use that. Lemon, this is fake, it's plastic. Or probably a bowling ball is too heavy for this. You don't want something super heavy, you want it pretty light because the goal is to knock down the cups without knocking down the houses. So let me show you my setup here. All right, here's what I've got so far. This is actually harder to do than it looks. So I have my pipe here, my tape trying to hold it onto the stool, and I have my string and my wrecking ball. You have to make sure that the string um, has room to swing like that. The next thing you're going to do is set up your three cups, which represent a wall. So set up your wall in front of the wrecking ball. So that way if you pull it back and let go, it will hit the cups. But in front of the cups are houses. And remember the goal is not to touch the houses. You don't want the wall getting knocked down and crashing into the house. Now you're going to want to measure correctly because if you put these houses right next to the cups, as soon as this cup tips over, it's going to hit the house. So you have to scoot it back just enough. So that way when you lay down a cup, it won't touch the houses. That becomes the challenge. All right, I haven't tried this yet, so I'm just gonna pull back a little bit. I don't wanna knock the cup into the house, so let's see. Here we go. Well, that was kind of perfect. Now you might be thinking, Miss Sarah, you made that look so easy. Well, yes, I'm a naturally very talented person. So I switched out the wrecking ball. This was kind of heavier than this. This plastic lemon is a lot lighter. So I'm gonna pull this back to about where it was before and let's see what happens. Oh, that didn't work out very well, did it? Because this ball is not as heavy, I'm gonna have to pull it back farther to give it more energy and more movement to knock over that cup. Oh, here, let me set it up. Don't wanna knock over those houses. Here we go, let's see if this is good enough. It is, oh, but man, I just hit that house. Sorry guys, my dog went crazy, so I had to stop recording and I had to reset. So I'm going to pull it back a little bit farther this time. And let's see if this does the trick. Don't hit the house. Woohoo, it's really close, but it didn't hit it. So I'm gonna try a different type. One more wrecking ball. This right here is something I throw in the dryer to help fluff my clothes, but it's kind of like if you'd imagine a dog toy. Um, it's heavier than these two wrecking balls that I was using before. So if this is a heavier ball, that should mean that I don't have to pull it back as far because it's super heavy and it's got a lot of power behind it. So let's try it. Let's try going back this far. Here we go. Oh, that might've been not far enough. Let's pull back a little bit more. Look at that. I didn't have to pull back as far as the other two. That makes sense because it is heavier. Now, just for fun, I'm gonna pull back really far and see if it makes the cups just fly right over the house. Here we go. Three, two, one. Okay, that didn't work at all. Bye-bye, house. Now, like I said before, if you just wanted to watch this video, that's perfect. If we were in class, we would be, we would be doing this together. If you wanna do it at home, 
awesome. But if not, that's all right too. This extra video will help you understand your work a little bit more. So thank you for learning with me and I will see you next time.